Welcome back to TL's Hobby Center. Today we're doing a new release, I'm assuming, because I've never seen this uh, piece before. But this is the um, Robert Pattinson, the Batman uh, motorcycle that was in the movie. This is a 641 piece uh, model, and it's a model 42155, and it's the Bat Cycle. Um, they also call it the Bat Pod, or whatever you guys want to call it. But this is a pretty neat display. I would, honestly had no idea that they made this. Um, lots of stuff looks like going on. we got some functioning suspension, it looks like. A functioning cylinder, because you can see a gear in the front of it. I'll show you on the other side. And then, the chain that actually drives the uh, bike. And you got the cool exhaust that looks like it's coming out from every side of the bike. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually kind of excited to get into this one. Um, and if you look right here in the box, it looks like that's the crankshaft for the piston to go up and down. So this is probably me one piston on each side, I'm assuming. We're going to find out here in a minute. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much about it for the box. I mean, this thing's going to be huge because that there is just the rotor. Or the uh, Yeah, the rotor for the brakes on the front of the bike. And as you can tell, if it's about that size, it's still pretty close. That's this is about how big the bike is actually probably going to be. So, um, pretty curious to know what we're going to get into. So, let's go and open this up and see what we got. Alright, so, this is a pretty simple looking packaging, at least. But the most intricate part is going to be the engine of the bike itself. Which is going to be one of the first things we got to build. Um... And as you can see, these are the tires for it, so we know that this thing is actually pretty close to the size of the packaging. So this thing is going to be pretty huge. It's going to be bigger than the Batmobile itself for the Lego part. Um, we got our wheels here that we'll be throwing on there in a little bit. And then we got three packages for, well actually four, five packages total for the first step. And this is all going to be part of the engine. So you got two bags inside of here with the bag itself, and you got one excluded bag and another excluded bag, and then you got part two, which has one bag inside of it and one excluded bag for the body of the bike. So that's all we got for that. And then there is 219 pieces or steps to this. So the most intriguing part is going to be the cylinders for sure, but um. Some nice pictures of the uh, Batmobile in here, or the uh, Bat Pod, or Bat Cycle, as you wish to call it. And here is the finished piece of the actual puzzle, or the uh, model itself. And then over here, you can see it says 219 for the steps that you gotta do. So that's gonna be really about it for this. Um, this is gonna look pretty cool, I think, whenever we're done. I'm excited to jump into this, and as I show you here. All the stuff there, we get up into here's where it gets really, you know, lots of stuff going on. So, we'll have to figure that out step by step, but it'll be on a time lapse for you guys. Um, but for that, that's about it for what we got in the package. Um, but before we jump any further, please subscribe, uh, leave a comment, like, do as you guys uh, wish. Anything helps, and hopefully I can keep providing more content for you guys, because I'm really intrigued with all these LEGO builds. So, uh, each one's a new learning curve. It gets somewhat more complex, so I got a lot more builds for you guys. Um, I'm saving up on some of the stuff, so I'll be getting them all for you every week, and see the best I can do. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, start building this and see what we end up with. So let's go.
We got one really neat uh, motorcycle, and this thing's full of all kinds of functions. Um, I'm really happy. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have the same direction going on those, but this bike is honestly one of the coolest things I've probably ever seen so far from a Lego, um, function wise. Um, it's got four shocks and it's got a drivetrain that moves, but you can't see really much of it. But you can tell that the uh, motor's spinning from all the gearing that's back in here. And that all works off of the chain that's driven by the wheel. So that's also pretty cool. And then this gear moves. So then you've got your engine moving too. Um, all in all, it's got full travel suspension. You push it down, the whole thing moves. Do that, front, side to side. I mean, it's just a pretty cool setup, all in all, in period. Um, Kickstand so you can display it, just like that. And the wheels turn if you really want, or vice versa, whatever you want to do. Um, it's got a whole exhaust system going on. Thing looks fairly decent compared to the uh, movie car, which I'll show you right now. Here's a side view. Um, as you can tell, it's like, I mean, it's pretty similar. I mean, you don't really get a straight on shot of this car in the movie, of this bike in the movie, but it's pretty cool that they have that. Um, here's a size comparison to the Batmobile from the Robert Pattinson movie also. And this thing itself is pretty big. Um, as you can tell too, it's been sitting around for a little bit since I haven't really done much with this one for a while, but that's fun. Um, but as you can tell, it's definitely not movie accurate size compared to this, unfortunately. But again, it's good for maybe a figure that's like maybe, I don't know, about this tall, about, I don't know, 14 inches tall maybe, something like that, or foot tall figures. So it would do good for that. Um, that's it for the bike. We'll put next to a Speed Champions real quick. You can tell, pretty decent size still. And then also another Technic vehicle, <coughs> like that. So all in a cell, hefty size. So it's gonna take up a good bit of a uh, display piece, pay or uh, space. But make sure you plan for that if you purchase this. Um, but honestly, give this one a really. I don't know, five out of five. Honestly, it's, it's a nice it's a nice setup of how they made this one happen. So I'm really happy with it. Um, I don't have any complaints. I actually do like this one. It's also accurate to the actual car or the vehicle itself. So that's another plus. So yeah, I'd say it's a five out of five for me. Um, and I think it's gonna do it for us. I mean, if you guys have any questions about this, don't feel free to ask. I'm always open to answer your guys' questions if you have any. Um, yeah, that's what gonna do it for us. Um, I would recommend buying this if you guys want a uh, more of a car collection piece style, or if you're just a big fan of Batman and you really need a display piece. Here you go. This is one of those. It's good when you need it kind of scenarios, so. though. But yeah, that's gonna do it for us. I'm glad. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys haven't done so, please subscribe and comment, leave a like, and um, yeah, keep on building. We'll see you guys in the next build.